Can we get a clap, please? Oh, you guys! <laughs> <laughs> this is Andy. And this is her boyfriend, N. And he is in for a very big surprise. Back in the spring, we got an email from a member of our community, Andy, and it really caught our attention. She said she was making a long-awaited trip from Canada to London with her boyfriend, N, and her mum. So we started planning the London trip probably really in our heads before. Last summer? Yeah. We'd, we'd talked about surprising my mom for Easter um, as a, an Easter present, but my mom got sick. Um, so it was like, okay, well, we'll put it off and we'll give it to her as a Christmas present. And it was Anne's idea the whole time. I hadn't even suggested it. We booked our tickets last October. And since then, every day it's been, let's add this to the list. Let's put this on the itinerary. We watched copious amounts of sorted videos and places that we had to check off our list and places we had to go. For me, I've always wanted to travel a lot more, especially after my mom passed away. Um, but then also just having the opportunity to take her mom back home was a big part of it for me. London specifically, because it's like you guys, Jamie Oliver and Gordon Ramsay, of course. I grew up with uh, them on Food Network and then obviously you guys on YouTube. So England was a big bucket list for me. And your chef? Former chef, yes. I love cooking more uh, with like, like you guys. It was more for fun, entertaining. It didn't have to be so French brigade. It didn't have to be fine dining. I just love the joy of food. Hey baby, where are we going? London, baby. How many days? Three. We were watching a video um, and it popped in my head, how cool would it be? And see if I could reach out to Sorted to even get something cool, like even, even an autograph photo would have been enough to you know, blow him out of the water. But something in me said, if I explained it all, then it would, maybe I could do something cool. Um, so I wrote, wrote this big long email <laughs> explaining how much he loved you and how long he's followed you guys and um, how much I, I love him and how much I think he's deserved <laughs> all of this trip and more and how thoughtful he is. And he also explained in her email that she wanted to propose to N while in London and that he wanted all the bells and whistles. And well, we couldn't say no. And I, my, I think my heart left my body or my soul left my body when Eliza replied and said, hey Andy, <laughs> you're right, we do get a lot of fan mail, but you've you know, had us in tears like someone's been cutting onions over here and that was just like, is this happening? Is this really happening? We're here. <laughs> London, baby. London, baby. With months of planning, video calls and countless emails, we had finally arrived at proposal day. 13 years of the channel and many, many years in this studio, we've never had anything quite so momentous. I mean, we've done food festivals, we've done theatre shows, we've done birthdays, we've even done a wedding, but never this. So, everyone's at action stations here. They're gonna turn up in a few minutes. We're gonna pretend that they're taking part in one of the videos. They're gonna lift the cloche, there's gonna be a speech, there's gonna be getting down on one knee, there's gonna be a question, and hopefully, Hopefully, there's gonna be some celebrations afterwards. What could go wrong? They're walking here right now. What is going through our mind, I cannot even imagine. I think here, simultaneously, we are outrageously excited, nervous, and anxious about every single step. Never have we ever played a part in someone's life so big, and we've never even met them. This is quite a responsibility. Full of nerves and excitement, Andy and N had finally arrived. <laughs> Welcome to our home. Oh my god, that bruise. <laughs> <laughs>
How's nice it going? Nice to meet you too. Good to meet you. How are you? Good, you? Yeah, really good. Hi, Hi. 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 Welcome, welcome. You. you all right? Yeah. Oh, oh I walked yeah, up the yeah. stairs. Yeah. No, no. I didn't even know where we were going to be here. It was just, she stopped down the road and she's like, we're going to the sorted studio. I'm like, oh my God. I can't believe you did this. And I'm walking upstairs. Izzy says, the boys aren't going to be here, but you got a tour of the, uh, the studio. I'm like, okay, I come in. I see Kush. I'm super excited because I see Kush. And then you guys pop out. And it was just disbelief. We spent some time getting to know one another and let the initial surprise sink in before throwing Andy and N into a fake video to review some pretentious ingredients. Or at least that's what N thought was going on. Is it under there? Yes. Okay, don't lift it. Don't, don't, don't ruin the surprise. Under this cloche is the ring. N thinks I've just handed Andy some info cards with the ingredient information on, but little does he know, it's actually the proposal speech. With Andy's mum watching on, having no idea what's about to happen, months of planning had led to this moment. It was finally time for the proposal. Everyone happy? Are you guys happy? Yeah. Yes. Are you sure? Absolutely. Okay, good. First yeah. thing you need to do is a sync clap. That's the yeah, thing. just do a clap. <laughs> oh, perfect. <laughs> you are perfectly <laughs> synchronised. We're in sync. Okay. Right, ready? Yeah. Item number two, we have two very special guests, Andy and N, who are going to review this product for us. Are you ready? Are you ready? Yes. I think so. All right. This next ingredient comes in many different forms and colors. It can be something that lasts in your home for decades if kept in good condition. Having a history that traces back to ancient Rome, it can be an important staple to some in so many ways. In cultures around the world, it is a token that often precedes a feast in some kind with many courses. Ranging from decently affordable to extortionately expensive, this ingredient is especially important as it is often referred by its nickname, Turnum Amoris, which translates to a pinch of love. And we all know how important it is to put love into everything you do, especially your cooking. And there's no question that since the day we met, our love has flourished, inspired others, and has brought us wonderful adventures, challenges, and fun, including being here today. I'm such a lucky woman because you're not only the love of my life and you love me, but all my friends and my family, especially the one person in the world that means the most to me, my mom. It's always been important to me that the person I share my life with loves and respects my mom as much as I do if not more than I do. Like she said the first day she met you, she loves you too. I could not have asked for a more amazing man who makes me laugh, supports me, encourages me, who makes me feel like I'm the only person in the room and that no matter what I do, what I look like, what lame dad jokes I tell or fail to land or even the mistakes I make, he tells me regardless I'm perfect for him. So, all of this to say that this surprise was one of the little things I could try to do to show you just how amazing you are and how you deserve the world for simply loving me and mine. Lift the cloche. Oh my God. <laughs> and before I get too emotional, as I always do, in front of my mom, these awesome guys, <laughs> their unbelievable crew and the people that made this happen. Will you continue to make me the happiest woman and sous chef and marry me? Yes. Yeah! yeah! <laughs> <laughs> wow. <laughs> Go on, Spath. <laughs> oh my goodness. Congratulations! <laughs> oh, wow. <laughs> <laughs> I was fine up until this morning. I've been playing it pretty cool. All of my friends and family who knew it was happening were like, are you okay? Are you gonna be okay? The whole time, does he know? I think I did pretty well keeping it a secret, but this morning I was having a literal panic attack while it was, as we were walking here. Oh, when you guys asked to do a video, I'm like, okay, cool. It's just gonna be like a, a one-off, it'll just be a personal video. Yeah. And as she was reading the second card, I was just like, I know where this is going. 
Oh, you wanted bells and whistles. I couldn't get those, but I got these guys instead. That's true. That's very true. Yeah. Not gonna lie, the first feeling was, damn, she beat me to it. <laughs> um, second was, I can't believe she's actually doing it. Because we joked around multiple times that I was just like, oh yeah, you're going to propose. Yeah, girls me. can do anything, boys can do a bit better. There's a whole song about it. And then, uh, as it went on and on, it was just like everything we kind of casually talked about, I realized it was a reality. So. The biggest part of, of all of it was having to think about what I was going to say. Um, and I just thought about all the things that I would want someone to say to me. It not being, having to be something big or having to be something crazy, just those little key few points that make it exactly why it was important to me. <laughs> um, he's been a godsend and it literally saved my life in so many ways, just being in it. If we didn't have enough surprises that day, we also celebrated with cake, as it was also Andy's mum's birthday. So my mom's originally from a little place just outside of Whitley Bay called Monk Seton. She hasn't been home in 40 years and it's I think more of a full circle for me to be able to see all of those things because I was raised with a single mom and she's suffered a lot for us that there's no way I can repay any of the things she's ever done and she would never ask it. Part of me feels like I owe it to her um, to be able to share experiences like this with her and to be able to have a mom to be able to do that with. Um, she recently came through cancer, which is a big feat on its own, but she's a medical marvel. And after Anne and I met and bonded over the same kind of thing with his mom, being able to share a trip like this with him as well, it's all really, really important. I don't think she thinks it's as important as I do, but for me it does, because it's nice to be able to see where she came from and where my family came from and sh how she's come so far from just a tiny little seaside town. Um, are you guys happy to carry on? I don't know. Absolutely. I'm just going to keep Did crying. It's fine. Yeah, <laughs> We're just uh, emotional. Just, yeah. <laughs> yeah. Everything's been easy. We haven't really fought We've had disagreements like every relationship, but nothing, nothing, a couple of minutes just of space doesn't work out. Talking. Um, yeah, talking. I love this woman. She's uh, been a blessing to my, my life. And obviously without her hard work, I wouldn't have met all you guys today. <laughs> I love you. No, I love you too. Final question. When's the wedding? <laughs> <laughs> After you're done school. Yeah. So like October, November 2025. You're all secretly invited. <laughs> secretly? You can say that public. Whoops. <laughs> Very public. <laughs> no. Thank you. Thank you so much. Thank you.